Have you guys ever worked on something so long that you wanted it to be absolutely perfect? You put all your thought and energy into it. That is this video. I was supposed to release this well over a month ago, but I want it to be perfect. I say, Lando, let's just let's just let's just release it. Let's do it. So I'm just now leaving the gym and I open up the Tropical Smoothie app. It's easy. You just first put in a location where you want to go. This is two minutes from where I'm at right now. I usually do the island detox, but I'm feeling like a kiwi quencher at ginger. This is how we going to roll today. And all I got to do is go walk in and go pick it up. So let's go ahead and head over to the store. Start up the car, get gas, and we're gone. Now we walk into Tropical Smoothie. I'm not going to record on the inside because they usually have music and people are currently in there. I get my smoothie. Orlando was already ready. Let's drink it. Black rose, black rose. Black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh. Black rose, black rose. Black rose, black rose, black rose in the sky. Uh, uh. Black rose, black rose. Black rose, black. Benvenidos. Welcome back. Hain Cuela, however you want to say it. Welcome, you guys. I hope all is well. I am Lando Sess, your favorite motivational teacher to go is whenever you come here, come here. To this channel you're going to leave knowing something that you didn't know before you came here so first thing first is the housekeeping you guys got to press that like button press the subscribe button so the video can get thrown out to the masses and we're actually going to play a game we're going to play paper rock scissors if i win y'all got to press that like button and subscribe button if i lose you just got to press the like button so the way we're going to do it we're going to do paper rock scissors shoot and y'all get to pick first all right so let's do it paper rock scissors what y'all got Think of what you really get, because I already know what you get. You got paper, and I got scissors, and I win. So press that like button and subscribe button. So you guys asked for another franchise video, and I am here to deliver. And we have a great one today. This is probably going to be one of my favorite ones yet. And we are covering tropical smoothies. First, we're going to go over to the website, and we're going to look at the application process. We're going to see if the website's smooth, if it's user-friendly, any videos on there. We're going to check that thing out. How do you get a franchise? Then we're going to come back over. We're going to talk about a webinar that they did and talk about the ins and outs of the company. I'm going to give you my pros and cons. And last but not least, my Lando franchise score. What I rate the company between A, B, C, D, and F. So I'm going to be very transparent. Y'all know I'm going to keep it real. Let's get into the video. All right. So if you're on Google, you type in Tropical Smoothie Franchise, right? You go down and you stroll to tropicalsmoothiefranchise.com. Now, as soon as it open up, look how clean this is. You see fresh fruit. You see water dropping off of it. You see food with the steam. So whoever designed this is very, very smart. You stroll down, they talk about money immediately. They say the average net revenue is over $1 million. And they didn't say the top 2%, the top 5%. They said for the top 50% of our franchise owners, you have multiple day parts, you have breakfast, you have lunch, you have dinner, you have snacks, you have different things, and it's multiple um, revenue streams. They say capitalizing on conveniency within the drive-in, drive-through, catering, delivery, and online mobile options, what I did in the beginning of this video. So you stroll down, you see a lot of things going on, and you can join a franchise right here. This part is what I'm going to talk about later. If you click learn more, they did a webinar recently and it's like a 35 minute webinar breaking down a company where they've been at. I'm going to break that down to you so you guys don't have to <laughs> go through the whole process. See, this is what you get me for. Available territories. Once we click this, it's telling you where is, you know, some franchises you can buy where you can start at. With me being in Michigan. The opportunity is done right now. They are sold out, so you can't even get one in Michigan. You can see where is your location where you can actually get one. So if I want one, I would probably start in Illinois or somewhere close until one opportunity open up in Michigan. Why us? They say today consumers need to escape more than ever and they seek a healthier food option to make them happy. We continue to share our craveability of the tropics and satisfy the taste of our health conscious. To keep up with the demand, we opened 99 cafes in 2020. Remember, this was a pandemic year and they still opened up more. 
so they showing you the growth from you know every year it's definitely been growth so that's amazing sign why them they got some testimonies they have some people talking about how amazing the company is the perfect candidate the franchise that keeps growing strong see they have different nationalities so they did it smart this stuff do you have what it takes so they they're not shy they're telling you exactly what they need right now you have to have a minimum net worth of three hundred and fifty thousand. that's honestly not too bad which include a hundred and twenty five thousand in liquid assets not bad at all so they say the average price usually is from two hundred thousand to five hundred and sixty thousand and here go your ongoing fees so it's no hidden stuff they letting you know hey we're going to need six percent royalties three percent for your marketing and two percent for your um local marketing i'm going to break this down in the video when we go over the cost the process so i love they tell you step by step to pre-qualify step two the franchise application step three is the fdd step four is the program review step five so they literally go all through the steps of what you need to join and you can go ahead and get started so one of the first and one of the most important things that they talked about in a webinar is a friend data fund score lando what is a fund score they break it down where it's basically like a company's credit rating score like you go to Experian and you see your credit 700 600 it's kind of what the company score is so tropical smoothie fund score is a 905 out of 950 which is impeccable that is crazy because their qsr that basically mean a quick service restaurant when they combine all the different fast food type chain restaurants the highest average is 593 so think of that. The highest average is 593 and they're 905. They're the best of the best. So the reason you want a good fund score and to be with a company that has one is because they help you out with lending and your credibility when you need money. So how the SBA just gave out billions of dollars, your company can easily get it more than a different company because they know they're investing in a company that's been doing good, handling all the right things versus a company that they are giving the money to just to lose. So like I previously said that QSR, they break down during the pandemic. I'm going to try not to say the C word too much doing this. All right. So if you look at the first one, it's a pizza QSR. So that's basically pizza companies, the traditional Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's. Then you have traditional ones. Then you have breakfast, specialty coffees like a coffee beanery or Starbucks, casual dining and fine dining. This chart is showing everything right when the pandemic happened. You see traditional pizza kind of didn't change at all because remember in March, that's when the economy shut down. Pizza stayed the same because they already is adapted to handling a pandemic because you just literally, you don't sit down to go eat pizza at a pizza restaurant. You just pull up, go grab it, and you leave, or you get it delivered to you. So they was already pandemic ready compared to most average companies. Then they talked about how a lot of companies are adjusting to the pandemic. You got the curbside pickup, you have home deliveries, you have contact list transactions. That's what I did today. I showed you guys how I can literally just order it on my phone and go pick it up. Or I can do a DoorDash order where they can just literally drop it at my front door. It's going to cost more, but they have options. Then they talked about how the franchises adapt all the way to the employees using more PPE training, being safer, being a lot more cleaner. Tropical Smoothie Cafe is well positioned with the QSR industry with a strong and competitive performance and is equipped with the resources needed for further expansion, increasing average cafe revenue, outperform sectors averages. So they're basically saying they increased in revenue compared to everybody else at a higher grade. Now, I'm going to show you a chart about that. Significant nationwide franchise system growth, faster sectors than average. They also increased their franchises. You've seen in that one chart, they kept on growing. I think it was 99 in 2020. Last is a lower initial investment per square foot. I actually can show you all that better than I could tell you. So if you look at it right here, this here go their revenue growth. We look at Tropical Smoothie, there's at a 6.2%. Regular Sandwich and Subs Company, they're only at 3.7%. Other juices and smoothies, they was at a 0 0.02%. That is crazy. And when you look at Tropical Smoothies, they're just completely been going up. 
So this is the chart I was talking about. This is their initial investment. Remember, they were talking about on averages from 200,000 to right under 600,000. So let's look at that range. You see, that's the cheapest out of all the sectors and it's not the most. So if you look under, you see juice and smoothie brands. They talk about the average. So let's say Smoothie King. I don't know the exact numbers, but let's say if it's higher, look at sandwich brand. Let's say it's a Subway, Tubbies or Pot Bellies. Look how much the investment is. So if you look at the juice and smoothie sector, there are other companies that you actually can get in at a decent price. You don't have any, anything as low, but you don't have nothing too high. But would a brand be as good? Then you got another sandwich and sub sector and they're kind of in the middle. Then on the right, it talked about the initial investment per square foot. If you want to look at that, you can screenshot it and you can go over it. All right. Before we dig deep and heavy into this, we need to talk about the initial investment. So we're going to go over that. So to all my new people here, make sure you like and subscribe. But I like to go with the worst case scenario, because if you got low numbers and you got high numbers instead of going in the middle or most people like to adapt towards the low we're going to the high numbers right so so the initial franchise fee we're going to say is thirty thousand dollars you have professional fees fifteen thousand the restaurant fixture the frontager so they include in all of this the cash register at one hundred and thirty four thousand the leasehold improvements that is the biggest thing because say if you got the space, but they're going to have to modify and make everything look like a tropical smoothie. Then the signage, that's basically just to sign 13,000. The initial inventory. I'm surprised they got a low as 4,500. That's crazy, but we're going to talk about that. But on the high side, it's 18,5. You got the initial training expenses, nine grand. The initial deposit is only 17 grand. The grand opening, that's 10,000. That's usually, it seems like that's a standard fee it's always ten thousand and then it said additional funds i love how they have that added to it because most franchises they're not going to add that they're going to want you to think of that yourself because you've just started franchise you're on e you broke but if you didn't calculate three to six months expenses then and because you always know something is going to go wrong so you need extra money so i like how they have that added extra 53,000 just sitting there just in case you're going to need it. So on the low side they have 257,000 and on the high side is 560,000. We're going straight to the high side. We know that's not going to probably be the scenario, but we're going to use that as an example. You got to have $560,000, half a million to get your tropical smoothie. All right, so let's talk numbers because I'm a number person. It have to make sense if I'm going to invest in your company or invest in my own franchise, right? So if I'm investing, if we're going to say $500,000 for a conversational purpose. If I'm investing in $500,000 into a franchise, how long is it going to take me to get my money back? That's kind of what I want to know. Now, since I love the company, I love the brand, I see how they can be ran properly. I'm saying it's going to take me three years to get in that top percent where my store is making over a million dollars. Me personally, it's not going to take that long, but let's just say it take three years for your company to generate that one million dollar revenue. Think of one million dollars. They said they need 11% out of that $1 million. Remember, it was 6% franchise fee, 3% promotion, and 2%. What was that 2%? It was like a uh, local. It was some type of fee. But once again, for conversational purposes, we're going to say that's $100,000. You're making a million, but you have to take away 100000 that you have to give to them. So now we're at 900000 Next thing, your biggest expense is your employees. You have employees in the store that you have to pay. I don't know necessarily the price, but we're going to say you're paying $200,000 a year for your employees. Probably if you're matching the 401k or however it works, but we're going to say $200,000. Could be more, it could be less, but that's the number we're going to go with. So now we have $700,000 left. Next, we got to think about food. You have to keep the inventory stock with food daily. We're going to say $100,000. That is on the high end. I highly doubt if you're going to have to spend $100,000, but we going still high. So now we at $600,000 and we're going to take one more $100,000 for miscellaneous stuff that we have no idea what's going to happen. And that leave us profit $500,000 a year. You can walk away with profit making $500,000 a year. And that's just using my example. There's no factual data to back this up, but I'm going to be very, very close with it. 
Anyway, is that investment worth it to you? What happened you do it in two years? What happened you do it your first year? They say a good investment is once you make your money back within five years. They always said a good business investment is whenever you make your money back within five to ten years. You can do this a lot sooner with this. So people always ask Lando, what is the perfect franchise? There's not a perfect franchise because it comes down to what type of skills you have and other things. But for me... <laughs> okay, we're going to go over some quick pros and cons. Mainly pros because I live and die by this. When I tell y'all I spend on average, I probably get four tropical smoothies a week. So I'm help paying a light bills because I'm always there. And the dope thing is if you use their money, if you basically use the app and use like your code, they give you like a free $5, I think after like every four purchases. And I use that all the time. So it makes you give you a little incentive. But we always start with the pros. So the first thing I would think of is the price for your inventory. What are you selling? You are selling fruits, smoothies, food. So it's the lowest cost, high return you can get because you can grow kiwi and watermelon in your backyard. You're not having a real high price for inventory. Another thing that go hand in hand with it. It is a pandemic proof company. We just seen it is because when everybody else shutting down, they are opening up because people still want to eat healthy. You can go in and you can get out. The next thing is people want to eat healthier. When you go into a tropical smoothie, you see you have flatbread, you have quesadilla, you have nice sandwiches, especially if you go to the right store that make them fresh. Oh my gosh. I was going to interview the owner of the franchise. That's why I said in the beginning, you want everything to be perfect because I wanted to interview him because I actually went to school with his daughter. So I actually, I did go in there when I recorded the video, I did go in there to talk to him, but I wasn't prepared and I wasn't ready for it. So we talked for a hot second. Because I want to get the ins and outs about the company because this is something I probably would not like to invest in. The next thing is the consistent customer base you will have with this franchise. People that go usually come back. It's like a reoccurring thing like me. Think if I'm getting four movies a week. Think how many other people is doing the exact same thing and they're getting it for their spouse. They're getting it also for their kids. So it's kind of like an Apple product. Once you get in, it's hard to go from a tropical smoothie to like a smoothie king or something else. They definitely taste different. The last thing I like that you can separate yourself. If you go to enough tropical smoothie stores like myself, I know good ones from bad ones very quick. When you drive up and you see the grass not cut, it looks sketchy, it looks janky. The food, the, the chicken tastes all bad. First, the one I showed you guys in this video. They make their food fresh. It's always spick and span clean, but that's because the owners are always there. But I'll tell you all that in a second. So if we go over to the cons, it's not too many cons, but I would say for you to have that fresh food and have your smoothies be consistent, you're going to need good, consistent workers. In the job market now, how easy would it be to find a good worker that want to stay working for your franchise long term? So whenever I've seen the same workers, you would get a good, consistent smoothie because they already know what you want and they know how to make it. But when attrition is high and people is going in and out, the consistency tastes different. And another kind is... If you own a franchise, you probably have to be there at first to help build it the right way. The one I showed you guys in this video, the owner is there probably every day. He's not working. He's doing computer stuff, but he's making sure that the franchise is being ran the right way. And I get it. But, you know, some people just want to buy it and disappear. I think I will probably do it. The same way I will be hands on at first. I will watch them and I will have somebody to be able to take over the company. I make less money, but I still be able to have my hand in it and I'll be able to disappear. That's my personal thing. Outside of that, it's not too many other cons besides the price. The price is high. It's not a cheap investment. It's not too high though. It's more of a 50, 60 year old that invests their money, worked for a while and handled your finances right. You can $350,000. 
of your net worth. That is not a lot, to be honest. Your house is going to be worth 200000 You know, you just got to have that liquid money. So the price is kind of a con, but it's not too bad in my opinion. Let me know in the comments, what are your cons and what are your pros? How often do you go to Tropical Smoothie and what is your favorite smoothie that you usually get? Let me know. Now it's time for Lando's Franchise Score, where I basically give the company a grade and we can start using this whenever I do a series and I will have the list of all the companies I did and you have the grades. So after a while, you'll see 20 different companies and you'll know my grade. And since I did the research, you know it will be right. So the first thing first is the price. I give the price a B. It is not too bad, not too high, but the value that you will make back is worth it. The second thing is the application process. You've seen on the website how easy it was. I give them an A. The third thing is the controllability. Does the company run you or do you run the company? I actually give it a B. I think you can run the company the way you like it to be ran and professionally in the right way, but Tropical Smoothie do have their hand with the menu and how they like things ran. The fourth thing is the profitability. If you're investing in a franchise, can you make money? And I give them an A. You can make great money because it's low investment, high return. I love it. The last thing is the brand. Is it international? What happened when you see the logo? I'll say in this sector... I say Tropical Smoothie gets a B with the brand because it's not everywhere, but in Michigan, everywhere I go, that is the place you know you're going to get the most consistency. We don't have Smoothie Kings and other things out there like that. I would give them an A. Actually, should I give them an A? I wanted to make sure I wasn't biased, so I asked other people. They also said a B or an A. I want to know what's your thoughts. Did I get the brand right? So, overall... My franchise score, a tropical smoothie, is an A. I give it an A. Y'all ask me, what would be the company I will invest in? This is the company. I spend my money there on a daily basis. I spend my money there today. I watched a lot of interviews with the CEO. The CEO seemed completely down to earth. He knows what's going on. And just their adaptability is bar none. They are willing to adapt quick. They know if it's about to be summertime, hey, people going to want a mojito. If it's about to be Christmas time, let's do a Christmas type of thing. They not scared to switch up the menu. I love the owner. I love everything. I want to know what are your thoughts. Make sure you leave a comment. Press the like button. Share this video so it can get out and can get promoted. Let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Would you invest in a tropical smoothie if you had the money? And also, what do you guys think the next franchise I should cover should be? Leave in the comments, all caps, smoothie, if you guys made it to the end. I'm Lando Success. I appreciate you guys, and I'm out of here.